Welcome to another SMMP Reviews video on YouTube. I am Alicia. I'm one of the facilitators at Sarah Michelle. And we really just wanted to pop in and discuss a highly question upon topic with you, the updated ANCC exam. The biggest questions that we have been receiving are, one, do your review courses prepare me for the updated ANCC exam? And two, what exactly are the changes on the updated version? So the short answer to the first question is yes, absolutely. Let's start off with our course material here. Our courses absolutely will prepare you for the newest version of the ANCC exam. As always, we have the most current and up-to-date content to help you prepare for boards and be successful. In regards to the actual changes on the updated version of the test, let's take a little deeper dive into the new outline and test content breakdown. So we'll start off by comparing the new and old test content outlines. The biggest change that can be noted here in this new outline is a changing of content domains. In the 2019 version, we had a total of four content domains, including assessment, diagnosis, clinical management, and professional role. In the 2022 update, we now have five content domains. This includes assessment, diagnosis, planning, implementation, and evaluation. The weights and percentages have also been distributed and redistributed throughout the exam. The 2019 exam placed the biggest emphasis on clinical management, but now we see the biggest emphasis being placed on implementation. We will cover exactly what these domains include in upcoming slides, but I do want to note here that there have been no changes in the total number of questions. There are still 175 questions in total with 25 pretest questions that are not graded and 150 questions that count towards your overall score. The exam still allows for three and a half hours to take the exam and includes the same question formats as before, such as multiple choice, select all that apply, drag and drop, and picture questions. Also, the secondary classifications such as body systems, drug agents, and age groups tested upon have not changed. The next biggest question that we have been receiving is if non-clinical content has been removed from the ANCC exam. It has not. Really, the content in this new exam is all the same, but it's just reformatted into a different outline and looks a little bit different. Those non-clinical components have now been incorporated into the new domains in different ways. So let's take a look at these newest features and the content breakdown in a little bit greater detail. We'll go in order with how these appear in the outline, starting with the first category, assessment. Assessment still includes things like health promotion and screening. Both comprehensive and focused history, physical and exam are also present. The functional assessment of patients has also remained the same, but we first see our example of non-clinical content being reincorporated under the domains. We now find the assessment of family and caregiver roles appearing with the functional assessment. With risk assessment, cultural considerations have been added here as well. Moving on to diagnosis, this section also largely remains the same, including the pathology and clinical manifestations of disease states, requiring students to select appropriate diagnostic tests and differentiate between normal and abnormal findings. We do see the addition of the formulation of differential diagnosis here, but no worries, as our courses already include walking you through selecting differentials for your patients. In the next few slides, we will be looking at the newest part of the outline as the previous domain of clinical management has now been broken down into planning, implementation, and evaluation. Again, I want to reassure you that all the content is the same as before, but just redistributed into different headings. The new planning domain includes anticipatory guidance and health promotion topics, as well as clinical guidelines and pharmacological considerations for your patients. We see another example of the redistribution of the professional role as cultural considerations and research appraisal now appear under this domain. Let's take a closer look at implementation. The largest percentage of questions that you'll see on the new ANCC exam will be from this domain. 
ANCC states that around 29% of the exam will be from this content, and that's roughly one third of your exam. Remember that this is the same information that appeared previously in the clinical management domain with the addition of a few non-clinical items, legal and ethical considerations with HIPAA confidentiality and accessibility to patient information have been added here. We see that the appearance of both non-pharmacologic and pharmacologic considerations, interventions, and treatments appear here. Regulatory guidelines in the scope of or standards of practice have also been added. And as with clinical management before, we see that documentation, education, resource management, and therapeutic communication also appear here. To round everything up, let's take a look at the evaluation domain. This is where we see ethical and legal principles applied. Intervention and treatment outcomes still appear, as do the evaluation of test results. So ANCC will definitely still expect everyone to know those basic lab value ranges. So let's all take a deep breath here, as the test content is exactly the same. While the outline appears different, the content is no departure from the test before. With the last ANCC update in 2019, the pass rates actually increased, and we are expecting the same pattern again this year as well. All of the current pass rates for both ANCC and AANP are still above 80% for both FNP and AGNP students. Here's the link to the ANCC website where you can review the outline for yourself. This is also where we obtained all the information for this video. And as always, we hope that you found this video helpful. You can always find the content you need to pass your exams with us through live reviews, self-study courses, and a question bank that includes over a thousand practice questions. Know that we are cheering you on, rooting for you from afar, and believe in you all so, so much. Happy studying.